neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to change with experience. So we think of children as being the most plastic of, of brain in the universe, right? It is the most adaptable device, more than any machine, certainly more than adults. So that can be both good and bad. If your experience is full of, you know, talk and relationship building and social understanding and play and imagination, your brain soars. You build expectancies uh, related to those experiences. If your life is full of abuse, is full of, of scary experiences, of threats, of, of a lack of nutrition, many things can be threats to that brain's development. Then you close down your expectancies, you close down your joy of life and your tendency to want to experience the next new thing. So you can either grow or limit your potential in that early period based on what your experiences are. 这是第一次降生，第二次降生呢，就在三岁的时候，他要降生一次。整个的心灵成长的阶段，我们管它叫心理胚胎。所以特别的关键，在这个心理胚胎的时候呢，我们就就应该对待小朋友呢，啊，就像对待啊怀孕的时候啊，对待那个胎儿一样的呢，呵护他，对待他，这样才有利这个孩子的成长和发展。如果在这个阶段啊发生了，嗯。给他压力啊，啊，对他进行成长进行干扰啊，这这样一个环境，如果是准备好这样一个环境的情情况下，对他的胚胎的成长啊，就是非常有利的，啊，等胚胎期，等孩子到三岁，心理胚胎降生了以后，他又独立的自己心理的情况下，哎呦，快快快！